Hello, Andre here with WEF. We are in Chicago, it's 2019, and we are at the community event with Natalie Cook. How are you? Hi, I'm, I'm great. Things well, are going great. Good, good. Tell us a little bit about what's going on behind us. Yeah, so this is the WEF Students and Young Professionals Community Service Project. Uh, it happens every year as part of the WEF conference. It's going on in the WEF host community. The idea behind it is that we leave a lasting positive impact on the green infrastructure of the community that we visit. This year's project, the WEF 2019 SYPC Service Project, is at Maria Saucedo Scholastic Academy in the Little Village. The reason we chose this project, the need that they brought to us to find this project, they have a lot of flooding that goes on along the street. In the past, we've actually had reports of parents bringing in plywood to lay down over the curb so kids could get into school because it's just such a big mud pit when they were walking in. So we're replacing that mud pit with a permeable paver section so kids are going to be able to step out onto that get into school nice and clean. We also have over 800 students coming in all trying to get into school at the same time so we added a second walkway for them to walk up and it's a more natural landscape than the cement walkway on the other side of the school and in the middle we've added a rain garden. The rain garden has 3,000 gallons of storage um, so that's going to be enough to collect anything that falls on the sidewalk, the stairs in the front, along the front entryway of the school so it's not even going to be hitting that mud pit that used to exist down along the street. They would always be flooding uh, right on the sidewalk by the stairs on the main entrance and then there will also be flooding uh, as soon as the students would get dropped off right on the curb. So all this amazing uh, water garden or rain garden is going to eliminate a lot of that flooding which the kids are going to be walking in there dry which they may be upset yeah. but you know their parents would be happy. Yeah, exactly <laughs> and they might find a way to get muddy else elsewhere and yes, that's yes. that's fine. <laughs> yes and then these paths trying to make sure that we uh, keep as much green as possible and try to eliminate a lot of the pavers so that's why you see gravel right here and then if you look over here they, they went around the tree which is awesome we got to make yeah. sure you uh, know we save our trees and hug them and love them so. <laughs> Amen. Keep it green, baby. I love it. Yes yes. What I see is the most beautiful site I, you could imagine. A very dedicated group that do, donated their time and energy and you, you all look so beautiful and thank you so much for what you do each and every day and give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you. I am very proud of the work that the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District does all across Cook County and you know water doesn't have any boundaries it affects everyone and we need to make sure that we take care of all our communities. Our vision is a community of empowered professionals creating a healthy global water environment. A community of empowered, look what you did, professionals, and you're creating a healthy global water environment. The health for the community and the students that get dropped off here. And it's for the, for the bigger picture, for the globe, because the rain garden there is about carbon dioxide, you know, of sequestration, and it's about the, the, the pulling in the, the rainwater so it doesn't go into the sewer systems. This is all part of that healthy community that we're trying to create. And all of these faces here are a part of it and also recipients of that. This is a tremendous thing. Look at all of the people here, these important people who have come to support this. The Commissioner Garcia and Commissioner Anaya, Alderman, the principal, Department of Water Management, all of, that's how important this is. Margaret Mead, who was a cultural anthropologist, and she said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Thank you. <laughs>